Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. I'm here for Vintage King, and this video is all about these four fine, lovely Sur guitars I've got behind me. There's two classic pros back there and two classic antiques. Now, what I want to do in this video is break down both the differences and the similarities between the classic pro series and the classic antique series. I'll play each guitar a little bit so you can hear how they sound, and hopefully I can clarify any questions you might have about the various features and what these guitars are all about. I want to talk about some of the similarities between the classic pros and classic antiques, uh, namely the necks. All these guitars feature Sir's even C medium neck profile. It's super comfortable, not too big, not too small, fits in the hand just right, and I find I get used to it very quickly. Uh, all the guitars also have rolled fretboard edges, and that'll give you a real broken in feel right out of the gate. They've all got compound radius fingerboards, uh, which means they start at a 9 inch radius down low and finish up at a 12 inch radius at the top of the neck, actually flattening out. That'll give you a real nice easy cording down low and as you move up the neck you can keep the action real low and you don't get any uh, fretting out or anything like that on high string bends. Just very comfortable. They've all got medium stainless steel frets. Stainless steel frets will give you real nice silky smooth bends, just very playable and also super long fret life before you need to worry about fret dressing. Uh, they're all set up on the revolutionary Plec machine before leaving the Sur factory as well. The Plec just gives incredible setups uh, with uh, unrivaled playability. The Classic Pro and Classic Antique models all share some other consistent features. Among them are staggered locking tuners, in the case of the T guitars, Wilkinson three saddle bridges, and in the case of the S guitars, Goto 510 dual knife edge tremolo bridges with bent saddles, tusk nuts, and also the Sur SSC2 noise cancelling system for the pickups. There's two main differences between the Classic Pro series and Classic Antique series guitars. Number one, the finish, and number two, the pickups that are available. Let's talk about the finish first. The finish on the Pro Series guitars is a thin skin urethane style finish. It's really durable. On the necks, it's a satin urethane type finish. It's untinted and it provides a nice natural wood feel while providing excellent protection against moisture. The finish on the classic antique models on both the neck and body is a true nitrocellulose lacquer finish. The guitars have been carefully aged so as to appear like instruments that have been well cared for but played a lot over the years. Now of course nitro will continue to do its thing over the lifespan of the guitar, which is to say they'll continue to age and evolve, and nitro guitars are really for the player that doesn't mind a few scratches and nicks and dings. I myself think it's really cool. The Classic T Pro and Classic T Antique models are both available with either a single single pickup configuration featuring Sur Classic T single coil pickups, or you can get them in a humbucking single coil configuration that have a Sur SSV humbucker in the neck and a Classic T pickup in the bridge. Both of the T-style guitars I have here today feature the SSV humbucker in the neck and the Classic T pickup in the bridge. Both the Classic T Pro and Classic T Antique are available in either a 50s or 60s version. The 50s version features a maple fingerboard and swamp ash body, and the 60s version features an Indian rosewood fingerboard and alder body. Now this is purely my opinion, but I think guitars with swamp ash bodies, and especially if they also have a maple fingerboard, have a bit more of a scooped quality to the mid-range and kind of a very open sound and almost like an acoustic guitar type quality going on. Guitars with alder bodies, and especially if they've also got a rosewood fingerboard, are a little bit fuller through the mids, maybe a little bit more even toned frequency wise with a good balance of all the frequencies and are a little bit darker sounding. So let's check out the difference between the 50 style T with swamp ash and maple fingerboard and the 60 style T with an alder body and a rosewood fingerboard.
The Classic S Pro and Classic S Antique are both available with either an Indian Rosewood fingerboard or Maple fingerboard. Both guitars feature an alder body exclusively. Both the Classic S Pro and Classic S Antique models are available in either a single 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 pickup configuration or a hum single single pickup configuration. Now this is where the Pro model differs a bit from the Antique model once again. If you get a Classic Pro model, it's got Sir V70 pickups in it. If you get a Classic Antique model, the single coils will be ML standards. I recorded this next clip to show the difference in sound between the V70 single coils that are in the Classic S Pro and the ML pickups that are in the Classic S Antique. Just take into account that the Classic Antique, the red guitar with the MLs, the strings were a little more dead than the white Classic Pro guitar. Okay, here we go. The classic S guitars that feature a hum single single pickup configuration will all coil tap in position four. So you'll get the bridge humbucker tap to a single coil and the middle position single coil together. And that position just sounds great and has lots of cluck. Let's check out that sound. <laughs> All Sir guitars feature a finely tuned treble bleed circuit in the volume pot. What that means is you can roll down the volume of the guitar and the tone will clean right up, but it'll stay incredibly consistent. You don't lose any top end clarity or anything like that. And especially in a Sir Classic S guitar with the available hum single single pickup configuration, it just makes for an incredibly versatile instrument. You can use a single channel amp, dial up some gain and overdrive on the amp, and then simply roll down the volume control on the guitar for cleans, maybe use the neck pickup. Up, hit the bridge pickup, roll the volume all the way up, and then you're in heavy overdrive territory. Let's check it out. Thanks for watching my video on the Sir Classic Pro and Classic Antique series guitars. All four of these fine instruments are available through Vintage King. They lend them to me to make this video. I was real careful with them, I promise. And uh, yeah, you can check them out further at the Vintage King website and give the guys at Vintage King a call if you have any questions on these guitars or other Sir instruments. Please come back and see me real soon for some more videos. I am Pete Thorne. Take it easy.